Democrats. And it's truly a pleasure to be with you. I understand I'm speaking too loudly. But you know, I'm used to fighting the Republicans for so long, they're going to hear what I like because Bob McDonald, I'm coming for you! <laughs> Folks, it's great to be with yet another Fairfax County J.J. Denner. I've been here so many years, we have to be here tonight. And yes, it is my hour. 12th year wedding anniversary. So I would like to take a moment to recognize my wife, Karen. We two wonderful kids, Brian and McLean, eight and uh, seven, and they're in public school in Alexandria, and, and first grader and third grader, and she's going through the SOL, so I'm going to take another look at those SOLs when I'm in the governorship. Folks, it's great to be here. I have been having such a wonderful time. Just yesterday, I was in Appomattox, Stanton, Charlottesville, Harrisonburg, Prince William, today, uh, Petersburg, and, and Manassas, and here in Fairfax County. And you know, it goes to show as I travel across Virginia, and I have, I, as I have for so many years, so many miles, I know how connected we are. Whether you're in Galax or Fairfax, you care about your child's education. Whether you are in Norton or Norfolk, you make sure that your child has access to health care. We are so connected. We have so much more in common than we have. We are so much more similar than we are different. I'm so proud of being able to travel all across Virginia. That's why I bristle. We get so upset when Republicans come into Virginia and try to divide us. They try to claim there's some sort of a real Virginia versus some fake Virginia. Are they referring to Fairfax County? I don't think so, because we are a real Virginia, just as Galax is the real Virginia. We're all want to see us succeed. We want every child to have access to health care and good education. Now, as I'm running for governor, they all ask me, well, why and the differences? Well, they tend to be the same. They tend to be the same. And I, you know, just this afternoon, I was called by Richard Shelton. I could barely make out. He just had throat cancer surgery, and he's from, he's the treasurer in Montgomery County. He's calling me to say, Brian, I'm, I want to endorse you. I want to join the other elected officials from Montgomery County and announce their support for me in Christiansburg tomorrow afternoon. The treasurer, the clerk, the sheriff, because they see that I will bridge those regional divides, patch those partisan divisions. But I'll do it in a way that represents democratic values. But no, I have never been referred to as Republican life. The, Repu the democratic values in which I speak and the differences in this campaign that I truly believe is a democratic value to be good stewards of our environment, to make sure that we pass on a clean environment to our children. So yes, I am the only one who opposes offshore drilling and the only one who opposes a new coal-fired power plant in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We cannot, and I also, I also recognize the next job revolution in this country is the green energy job revolution. That we can develop a clean energy system right here in Virginia and we can create thousands of green jobs, but we won't do it if we go along with the status quo. In 19th century solutions of the status quo, we need 21st century leadership developing that clean energy system to create jobs and, yes, protect our environment for the next generation. And another democratic value is making sure no one is left behind. I was in Wise County last year at the fairgrounds, where our fellow Virginians lined up at 5 o'clock in the morning on one hot July weekend to access the only health care they'll receive all year long. As governor, I want to return to Wise County and eliminate those lines and provide access to health care 12 months a year, every weekend a year. And there are 200,000 children without health care. 200,000 of our fellow kids without health care. How are they going to be able to stay in school or grow up? to be healthy, productive adults. That's a moral obligation as well as an economic necessity to make sure every child has health care. That's what I will do as governor, and I have a plan to do it. So there are indeed differences in this campaign. And one of the major ones, I think, 
in terms of reflection of democratic values. I truly believe when you discriminate against one of us, you discriminate against all of us. I fought against the Marshall Millman Amendment when at its origin. I voted against it, debated against it, and campaigned against it. And I will not rest until we repeal the Marshall Millman Amendment. But all of the kids, whether you are a new American or a Native American, whether you are disabled or non-disabled, rich or poor, black or white, young or old, you should have an opportunity to live in Virginia and be the best that you can be. That's why we must invest in our children's education and their health care and provide access to all Virginians. You know, one of my favorite quotes that was in the paper just recently was by Robert Kennedy. When a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope. And those tiny ripples crisscross from a million different centers of energy and daring. And they build such a strong current that it can sweep away the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. I ask you to join me as Fairfax Democrats and Virginia Democrats to continue to move Virginia forward and wipe down those walls of oppression and resistance. Thank you all very much. God bless you. Thank you.